Find a degree three polynomial having zeros negative three, one, and five, and a coefficient of x cubed equal to one. Okay, well, generally how it works is, um, is y equals, or maybe they want f of x. I'm not sure, I'll check in a minute. Maybe they want f of x, maybe they want y, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me, but they might be picky. Um, um, they, and they want it equal, or I'll just put y. Uh, so what you do is you go, you have, a, you have a K in the front and you go X minus the first, um, I'll call it R1, X minus R2, X minus R3. And what these guys are, R stands for roots. These are roots or zeros, same thing. They mean the same thing, roots or zeros. So let's see what we got here. So K, X minus, X minus, X minus. And what are our zeros? Negative three, to, so put negative three, one, and five. Okay, now what about the, the K? Well, let, let me clean this up. Let me do one step of cleanup here. Y equals K. This is gonna be X plus three, isn't it? Be double negative here, become positive. X minus one. X minus five, we good to there so far? Now it's all about the K. How are we gonna find this K? Well, they're basically giving this to us. They're saying the coefficient, what, is that, what does coefficient mean? Number in front, co, like a co-pilot. Co means with, so the number with the X, the number in front of the X cubed in this case. The coefficient of X cubed is the number in front of X cubed or the number with X cubed, okay, co, co means with. Co-pilot, co-efficient, he's with the X cubed, and he's one. So they're telling me, hey, 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 the number in front of X cubed is equal to one. Um, I don't have an X cubed, right? What do you mean X cubed? Well, right, true, in this current form, I don't have an X cubed, but you could multiply that out. I'm not I don't want to, I'm not gonna bother with it, but can you picture it? Can you picture it? If, if you did multiply this out, you would have the K sitting here. And then if you like multiply, multiply, did a bunch of foiling and blah, 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 blah. What would be the front term? What's the biggest term? Well, X times X times X, X cubed, right? You'd have X cubed, then you'd have some number X squared and some number X. And, some number, right? If you, if you foiled it all the way out, can you picture that? I don't want to bother to do it. But if you foiled, like if you foiled, well, here, I'm going to do it real quick. X squared, you don't need to do this. Minus 5x, I'm just doing this guy. And then minus x plus 5, that'd be x squared minus 6x plus, because I foiled the back two. And then you bring down the one in the front, you'd have x plus 3. Whoops, I'm scribbling here, x plus 3. Then you foil that, that's with boom, boom, boom and you would get x cubed and blah, 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 blah. See what I'm saying? You multiply it all the way out, you'd have an x cubed in the front. And then some kind of number with x squared, whatever it is, I don't know, some kind of number with x and some kind of number. Okay, so what? And then, so do you see this one is k? Well, how do you know? Because what is this k going to do now? He's going to multiply and be sitting right in front of x cubed. He's going to be with x cubed. So when they say, hey, the coefficient, the number with x cubed is one, they're telling me what k is. You see that? They're saying, hey, k is one. So there's my answer. K is just one. If they said the coefficient is seven, they said the coefficient with x cubed is seven. Let's just change it. Then, then this would be seven because k is going to end up to be the number in front of x cubed. Do you see that? Like if I was to continue, I didn't want to continue, but I want to make it, if I was to continue this foiling, x cubed would be right in the front. That's why I said, if you foil that, you get x cubed. And then this k is going to multiply that. It's going to end up being kx cubed plus whatever, blah, 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 right? k is going to end up being the number in front of x cubed. So if they're saying, hey, the number in front of x cubed, with x cubed, the coefficient with x cubed is seven, then they're telling me k is seven, for example. So this, this would be x plus three, x minus one, 
x minus five. So whatever coefficient, that's what goes in the very front. And that's all you have to do on that problem.